Hey guys, Ralph here. Mm. Melon is so good this year. So good. Got at least another three months. I'm just melon, melon, melon. Now, this is the same day, Saturday. It's about one o'clock. Same day as the one before, about my bike ride and all that sort of stuff. I am just stuffing myself with fruit. Fruit, fruit, fruit. Guys, it was very, very, well, it's about 90 degrees out now, which is unusual for this, so I'm not used to it. And I'm, it tastes a little dehydrated, okay? No question. I am killing the fruit juices, vegetable juices. five potatoes I will probably have I'll probably have pasta tonight maybe some rice we'll see we're going right doesn't matter carbs 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 fruits veggies starches starts and fruits veggies veggies fruits starches guys it doesn't matter eat what you want as much as you want and just kill your workout the next day now anyway enough about me <laughs> my favorite subject but anyway, you saw the thumbnail. Okay, you saw the thumbnail. Chris Paul. Chris Paul. Right? Vegan, man. Plant-based vegan. And he has been for a couple years, and he is still going strong. And he is the first one to tell you that is probably the main reason that he is still playing and still playing at such a high level. Now, first of all, I want you to take a look at his physique as a rookie see there you go you got him as rookie of the year okay and look at him now guys it's almost the same physique now he obviously doesn't lift a lot of weights which I think is a good thing it's a good thing I'm not sure what sort of workouts he does but he obviously doesn't lift a lot of weights that's why he's not all beat up now, on the other hand, I want you to take a look at LeBron James when he was a rookie and LeBron James now. He's about 50 pounds heavier. Okay? Now, I'm not here to say something that LeBron James was doing is wrong. I mean, it's one of the greatest basketball careers in all time. But guys, he is definitely, and he has been for the last five years, is slowing down physically. Now, his savvy and his court IQ and his wisdom and all that take up for that. So he's still uh, performing at a very high level. But his, his physicality is going down at an alarming rate. It has been for the last five years. He plays, he's gone from defensive player of the year when he was younger to no defense at all. He plays no defense. He doesn't get down the court. If he gets down the court, he doesn't play defense. If he gets down the court. Guys, he doesn't have the energy to play both sides of the ball. Chris Paul, still killing it. And he's the first one to tell you the best part of this vegan diet that he's on. And I don't know the specifics. The plant-based diet that he's on is the best part of it is recovery. He just works out, does what he got to do, get his work done, and go to bed, do what he has to do, and get up and do it again the next day. Guys, it is a wonderful way to live. You get the high water content fruits in you, and then get your starches in to satiate you. Guys, you never go hungry, and you just keep working out. I told you, I did 30 this morning. I did some kettlebells uh, already. Guys, I don't have time. I have things to do. I could absolutely go out and do another bike ride. Absolutely go out and do another bike ride. At some point during the summer, I will. I'll put in the miles. I told you, I'm going to get up to about 40 miles a day more on the weekends, that's about 300 miles a, uh, a week. And guys, for that, a guy my age, and a, you know, a non-professional, professional is nothing, that's a warm-up, okay? I'm not saying that, I'm not saying I'm a great cyclist by any means, but guys, the energy, the energy that you get is what you are after. Fruit is nature's steroid. I've done videos on this, and you have to, it's so important to be vegan. 
Now, Chris Ball has been remarkably injury-free throughout his career. He played 70 games this year out of the 72. How many did LeBron James play? <clears throat> How many Kawhi Leonard play? How many Paul George play? Like 52. They missed 20 games, guys. And I'm going to do videos on all these guys. And every single one of them is on a garbage ketogenic diet. Every single one of them. Chris Paul talks about going out to uh, dinner with LeBron James and, and Russell Westbrook. And they're just taunting him because he doesn't have a big steak with them. Guys, <laughs> guys, that is why he's killing it. Russell Westbrook, I'm going to do it on him. Guys, he hasn't been the same for the last four or five years. And he's on a diet that you wouldn't believe, that somebody put him on. All it is is, all it is protein. Egg whites, chicken, fish, protein shakes. He's killing himself. That's why he has no energy. And I'm telling you guys, LeBron James and Russell Westbrook and all these keto guys cannot get through a game without 7-hour energy, 5-hour energy, 7-hour energy, 10-hour energy, coffee, tea, Red Bulls. Guys, that's what they live on. You have to if you're cutting back on your carbs like that. You have to. Guys, 70 years old. Still killing. Anyway, Chris Paul. I'm not necessarily a big fan. I'm a Knicks fan, which, uh, you know, didn't end well the other night. Uh, I'll look into what Julius Randle did for his, uh, he transformed his body. I, I can almost guarantee it's a high-protein ketogenic diet. That's what everybody does. But guys, when push comes to shove, they have no energy. Except Chris Paul, Kyrie Irving, Steph Curry. All these guys, little thin guys, they just keep the Energizer Bunny. Now, we are not offensive linemen. We're not, uh, you know, running backs in the NFL. We're not uh, trying to train for, for a specific athletic career. Okay? But what can you want? What can you want out of a diet more than energy that allows you to do whatever you want, keep your body slim trim like those billions of uh, Chinese people, billions of Japanese people, billions of Ethiopians and Kenyan runners? Guys, they're just eating rice and ugali and starches and vegetables. No mystery about it, guys. Fill up. Fill up. Don't count calories. Don't count calories. Fill up on all the fruit you can get. And watch your waistline go. Get out on the bike. Get out in the sun. Get your vitamin D, man. It's just a wonderful, wonderful time. These spring and summer days, right into the fall. I'll be riding my bike right up to the end of November. It gets too cold. December, January, February, I uh, put it away. March, I start bringing it out again, depending on how it goes. But anyway, guys, Chris Paul. Follow what Chris Paul does. You don't believe me? You don't believe me? Fine. Check out what Chris Paul does. Check out what Steph Curry does. Check out what Kyrie Irving does. I don't like Kyrie Irving. I think he's an adult. But, guys, he's lean as, and he never, never slows down. He takes day off, days off because he doesn't feel like playing. But it's not because he can't play back-to-backs. He can absolutely play back to back He doesn't feel like it. LeBron James can't play back-to-backs if you put a gun to his head. We'll do something special on uh, LeBron James. I do believe he's carrying around. You know, he sprained his ankle. It took way too long. But guys, if you are carrying an extra 50 pounds around, what do you think is going to impair, you know, uh, uh, a sprained ankle more than 50 pounds that you're trying to drag around? You can barely jump anymore. At least he's got his feet set. Guys, again, this is more like LeBron James and Chris Paul. Chris Paul, the Energizer Bunny. Eat fruit, vegetables, starches. And over time, over time, now over time, now if you're trying to, trying to drop 20 pounds, if you're 40 years old and it took you 20 years to gain 20 pounds, guys, you're not, you're not going to lose 20 pounds in 30 days. You're not, if you're doing it correctly. It's going to take you time. It's not going to take you 20 years. But give it time. Give it time. And if you switch to veg, uh, fruit, veggies, and starch, you will feel the energy source the next day, the absolute next day. 
Anyway, eat, drink fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power, like Chris Paul. Love you all.